Hey, what's going on? I, uh, I'm up in the studio. I've been working on some stuff lately. Uh, recording a bunch of tracks up here. And uh, yeah, I was um, going to show you guys a few things. Uh, I pulled out this old telly uh, that I have not used in a while. It's a Nash telly. I say I haven't used it in a while. We've used it, but um, I grabbed my old vintage one a lot. And uh, lately, uh, I've been looking at this one over in the corner of the room. And I was like, wait a minute. Um, it's been a while. Picked it up. It sounds great. I mean, it sounds fantastic. I was working on a track, uh, recording some uh, rhythm guitars and trying to kind of get, you know, as guitar players, I feel like that's one thing we're always searching for is like, I want that perfect, barely dirty, dirty rhythm tone thing. And uh, it's like a lifelong search to find that sound, I find. Uh, and I don't know that I'm, I don't know that I am ever fully there, right? You know, every song you're tracking on or even in a live setting, you might get uh, happy with a couple of tones, but you know, there's, there's just that endless search for this kind of like, I want it to be dirty, but I want to hear all my notes and I want the clarity. Anyway, the telly is a great place to start for that because, um, yeah, you can hear so clearly uh, the details of the notes. So I was going to quickly show you, um, what this sounds like up here in my studio. I've got, um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, this is just straight into this little mattress over here. Oh yeah. Check it out. I've been building a, a little gear wall here, uh, slowly, but surely, uh, I keep dragging. We're not touring. So I keep bringing stuff uh, up here to the studio. And before you know it, this is like going to end up, <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna end up reaching the ceiling, which is okay by me. Uh, yeah, a little Princeton here, Vox AC15, which I uh, got back recently. My first ever amp, this little PD Classic 30 down here. Uh, first one I ever bought. I think I got bought it for like 200 bucks at a guitar show in Dallas. Uh, my trusty old matchless, is which, which is what we're in today, and then the Fulton Web, which if you haven't seen that episode, I did an episode with the Fulton Web. Maybe we'll play play that some more uh, on here. But yeah, we're just going to keep stacking up the gear and making fun videos. Uh, thanks again for watching and uh, all your comments and questions. I uh, actually had a few questions I wanted to get to. Uh, maybe we'll get to that uh, later. But uh, yeah, I wanted to show you this this uh, this guitar. It's a cool guitar. It's a, I think it's called the T63. It's a 63 uh, Tele that Nash makes. And this one's an 08. It doesn't even have the uh, logo on the headstock. I think that's my initials, DC. I think they put that on there. And then a little um, signature and 08. And uh, yeah, man, we got these uh, a while back. And uh, it's the only one of theirs I've ever owned. And, uh, you know, uh, it's one that we've played on tour some. And uh, yeah, I just really like the way it sounded. I was tracking with it in the studios. I did like a Gretsch pass. Which a Gretsch makes a great, you know, rhythm guitar um, sound because the, the kind of single coils that really work well on the track. And then this was working really well as well. And I wanted to show you what that was. All right. So enough talking about it. Let's hear it. So this is just straight into the amp. There's a little bit of the RV5 verb on there. So uh, you can hear what that sounds like. scratchy pot there that's all right I hit it with this uh mirage compressor next up i'm going to hit it with a little bit of dirt from the king of tone box of rock on here it's got a great boost side so if you don't use the Marshall like 
drive channel. The boost side's great. Uh, so I've been using that up here a little bit. Clean amp, a little bit of compressor, drive. Show you guys uh, kind of what that thing sounds like. It's a cool, great, great sound of telly. Um, it's got a great neck pickup I've noticed on this thing. talked about much on the channel that I do a lot is I'll roll the tone knob I'll roll the tone knob all the way back all the way off down here or at least close to off and I'll do some of that kind of stuff right maybe I'll add more verb yeah and I'll add get this kind of filtered tone it helps if you have an overdrive too that's got maybe like a little bit of mid push and kind of get that honky mid thing. So add a little bit of delay back in. You can play around with uh, a lot of movement and it doesn't, you know, kind of lets the delays and the verbs kind of do some fun stuff. Uh, yeah, I just kind of want to show you what that was what that was doing. Uh, that delay I'm using is the Echo Park. You ever seen that pedal? It's like the green uh, Line 6 pedal. Not the big one, but the little one. You can get them for like 100 bucks. Let me show you what that sounds like. This thing sounds great. I don't know if we've put this on the channel, but I've toured with this pedal for ages. And it's a great, it's a great, um... It's a really good memory man replacement uh, or any analog. If you need like a, just a digital tap tempo, but sounds warm, I'll show you what that sounds like. Uh, let's see here. It's got these nice repeats on it.
running delay. Um, a long time ago, I think I, maybe the first version we ever recorded of uh, Our God, the song, I was playing the uh, echo part for my main quarter note delay. So uh, that would have kind of been like a, um, you know, like a just a natural kind of analog sound with a little bit of mod. So it might have been like, uh, kind of like this kind of thing. I think that was the main. So you can hear those. What's nice about it is it lets the, the notes kind of float and you can still play on top of it, right? a little bit about the guitar and a little bit about that delay um yeah i was just yeah just up here tracking and plugged the telly into the mattress and man that's just always such a winning combo for me uh when recording or even live but there's something about telly single coil into the mattress that and i'm not even running it it's not that loud it's really not it's just kind of barely on i mean it's on it's working but uh sounded great just wanted to show you guys uh, thanks again for all the comments and questions. I'm going to uh, read through some of You've got some really good questions lately. I'm going to read through some of those and maybe um, post a video soon where we answer a lot of those questions because, man, there's a couple in there that were really good that I think would make some good uh, subject matter to cover here for uh, maybe help you guys uh, or at least something to talk about. Thanks, thanks as always, for commenting below and, and, and saying hello and your questions, and, and uh, please continue to do so. I'm going to keep posting these and, um, and enjoying it, man. Having fun. We've just been busy up here tracking and recording for some friends. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to get back up here and say hello to you guys. So hope you're having a good day. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.